So, uh, in this class, we are going to look at how we are going to calculate neutron plus diffusion inside a spherical geometry using one group diffusion theory. You know, flux in spherical reactor. You know that a sphere is always like this at the center R. Now, we want to calculate the flux in the spherical reactor. This is the sphere. We assume this is the sphere. The one group reactor theory says that grad by 5 plus d squared 5 is equal to 0. In the spherical reactor, 5 will be R5 and psi. But flux does not depend on the two angles. So flux will only depend on a single half. So this one is phi is a function of half. This Laplace we just did in terms of the for the half will be 1 over r square d over the r, r square d over the half. So if I introduce it here, now be So this one become 1 over r square d over d r, r square d pi over d r plus d squared pi is equal to 0. It will be very very difficult for you to solve this kind of problem. But the only thing that you can do is, if you remember the top class that we do, if you make um, w is equal to r phi. You can actually work yourself down. And if you work yourself down, what you have is phi is equal to A sine BR over R plus C cos BR over R. This will be the general solution. So our next one is to go to get the particular solution for us. Want, so let's look at the boundary condition that we are going to use. Let's just assume that at the edges, the flux will vanish at the edges. <coughs> that is, at 5 is equal to R plus D, which is equal to 5 R pi equal to what? 0. That is, at the extrapolated distance from the is equal to 0. But 5 is finite when r is greater than or equal to r. That is, within the sphere, the the divot, the, the flux is what finite number. Okay? So those are the two things that we are going to use here. These are the two boundary conditions that we are considering. Let's look at the first one. Let's look at this first one. We can use it to do something here. That means, let's take a zero. Because we know that at this zero, the flux must be finite. It can never be infinity. And it can never be zero. It must be a finite number. Let's put five at r equal zero. Must be finite. Let's see. When we put at this point, if you put r equals 0 here, what do we have? 0, I mean, yes. we have 0 here. Yes. Though this one and this one might be like infinity, but still give us 0 in the tablet, but let's just wait for that one. If you come here, you put this one to be 0, because yes. 0 will give us 1. This one will give us 0. 0 divided by 1 will give us infinity, yes. so we cut this one out. It can never be. Fine. So that means C will be able to do it, because the flux inside must be finite. So we are now, because of that, we are now have our pi. It's got what? A sine dr over half. So, <clears throat> like you also know, the second one will continue in the next class.